Hi, this is Andreas Moritz and uh, I have been asked the question what causes pancreatitis and this is a very commonly asked question so I, I would like to address this here. Uh, from my experience uh, with the liver and gallbladder flush over the last uh, 20 years or so, I found that most people who have pancreatitis have a preceding uh, condition of intrahepatic bile duct congestion and uh, oftentimes also gallbladder congestion uh, with uh, stones, calcified stones or non-calcified stones. And uh, so what I found over the years that when a person is suffering acute pancreatitis it is due to um, bile sludge and stones from the liver bile ducts and perhaps from the gallbladder moving into the common bile duct, traveling down uh, to the sphincter um, towards the you know, pancreatic duct uh, where the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct merge, they become one before entering or leading into the small intestine or the, the beginning section of the small intestine. And uh, before the stones would uh, go through uh, the sphincter, um, the, sometimes there is a pileup, a, a blockage, and when the blockage is there uh, for quite some time, then uh, the body will uh, try to push the, the stones into the pancreatic duct. And uh, once the pancreatic duct is congested uh, with the sludge or with the stones from the liver or gallbladder, then uh, the enzymes that the pancreas produces uh, in order to help digest food, these pancreatic enzymes cannot be properly activated um, and uh, they become destructive. Uh, so in, and they are trapped in the pancreas, so they are not uh, coming through, uh, they are not passing into the intestinal tract and uh, pancreatic enzymes are very, very powerful and if they are not uh, passing through or eliminated then uh, they inflame the cells in the pancreas. So it leads to backwashing of enzymes and other substances in the pancreas um, where the pancreas begins to digest itself and this is an acute form of uh, pancreatitis. Uh, if if uh, there is a prolonged experience of uh, liver bile duct congestion, um, then the pancreas, in addition to all of that, cannot get rid of its own metabolic waste products. Um, there, there is a vein that directly goes from the pancreas into the liver, uh, trying to get rid of its waste matter. Uh, that includes uric acid, uh, lactic acid, uh, urea, all kinds of uh, you know, you know, important uh, metabolic waste products that the pancreas needs to get rid of in order uh, to prevent suffocation by these wastes. Uh, also, like everywhere else in the body, the pancreatic, pancreatic cells have to be replaced in due time. Pancreatic cells live on average only six to eight weeks. So they need to be replaced by new ones and the old ones have to find their way out. And they do that uh, via the vein uh, that travels from the pancreas to the liver. And if the liver bile ducts are blocked, uh, the liver becomes congested and cannot take up uh, and remove and break down uh, or, or um, convert uh, these waste products into harmless materials. So what happens is there will be backwashing of some of these wastes, uh, then building up in the pancreas, which can lead to chronic, a uh, chronic form of pancreas problems, uh, leading all the way up to pancreatic cancer. So it's important to understand the relationship between the liver, gallbladder, and the pancreas, and not to just treat the pancreas, if you try to do that, uh, there is only limited success. Uh, it's very, very hard to treat pancreatitis successfully with um, you know, normal methods of medicine. Um, and so it's best to rely on uh, treat, you know, treating it at the causal level, 
making sure that the liver and bile ducts are, uh, the liver and gallbladder are clean uh, through a series of liver and gallbladder flushes. And you can use the instructions contained in my book, The Amazing Liver and Gallbladder Flush. And uh, when you do that, uh, you're basically protecting your pancreas from all ills. Um, and as of course, you drink a lot of alcohol um, or eat a lot of uh, meat, uh, which has been now uh, recently shown to cause uh, pancreatic destruction um, and diabetes, um, by the way. So it's, it's essential that um, we uh, nip at the bud uh, you know, of this problem and you make sure that uh, the liver is clean so that the pancreas can remain clean and effective and uh, not just treat the symptoms. Um, I remember one case, um, a person in France who had uh, pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis, and he had to stay in the hospital for six weeks. And then he was uh, he released. Um, and then two months later, he had another bout of pancreatitis. So he rang me up, uh, or his wife rang me up, and asked if there was anything else he could do. And I said, uh, Yes, uh, take a glass of Epsom salts, um, one tablespoon of Epsom salts on an empty stomach. Uh, drink that um, because that will help to um, release the blockage in the pancreatic duct, uh, in the common bile duct, uh, you know, at the ampulla of water, um, that area just before uh, the combined uh, duct, uh, pancreatic duct and common bile duct. Um, merge with the um, the small intestine, and so uh, it immediately opened up uh, that duct, released the stones and sludge, and uh, the the person had almost like within an hour instant relief. Pancreatitis disappeared. Um, so there are natural means to to deal with that. I, in addition to this, I advise that person to massage the small toes. Uh, the the second the third and fourth small toe uh, vigorously and uh, put a pack of apple cider vinegar like a towel soaked in warm apple cider vinegar over the liver area and he was just perfectly fine uh, he didn't have to go to the hospital and then he followed up uh, with doing a, a series of liver and gallbladder flashes and uh, recently his wife reported back to me uh, this happened two years ago um, he, he reported back to me that he was in perfect health. He never had a pancreas problem again. So there are natural uh, means to deal with uh, pancreatitis, but uh, I would recommend uh, definitely make sure clean out the liver and gallbladder. Don't forget to clean out the colon uh, before and after each liver flush, so to avoid any complications or side effects. And uh, that, that will take care of uh, most of cases of pancreatitis. Thank you. Mm -hmm.